Did you know Sega created an AI gaming console 25 years before ChatGPT was even created? Sega. Sega's the best video games you can buy. Sega's excellent. It's better than a Nintendo Sonic. So fast. So fun. Gotta beat the level. Gotta beat the level. If you're not playing these games, you're a giant loser. <laughs> The details of this console were largely hidden, but that all changed once a Sega superfan bought one at auction and revealed the system's details and specs. He even released hundreds and hundreds of images of what this Sega AI system looked like. Now, do you want to see pics of this AI console, discover all its weird and bizarre accessories, and find out why it's considered an artificial intelligence machine? Well, by the end of this video, you'll learn all of that. Plus, you'll find out how you can play on this console right now on your computer for free. The Sega AI computer was released in 1986, which was just three years before the extremely popular Sega Genesis gaming console was unveiled to consumers. It's the same console that made Sonic the Hedgehog a household name. The one that had those goofy and for its time viral TV commercials. Young Bobby Angles has a problem. He needs to earn the respect of his peers. So he gets the special Sega Genesis fighting system. It comes with Streets of Rage 2. He saves $40. He gets more moves. He gets more control. Now things are pretty much okay. I said chocolate chip. Say it. Say it. Back then, in the early to mid 80s, Sega had strong ties with the educational community within Japan, and there was pressure for Sega to create an educational console. And this was a big change for Sega as their Master System console that was focused on gaming was released just a year prior in 1985. The Master System was built to compete with Nintendo's wildly popular NES console. Back in those days, Super Mario Brothers and Zelda Nintendo games dominated the market. Nintendo was so popular that at one point it had an 83% market share of the entire at-home video game market. Sega was desperate to compete with Nintendo, especially in the United States. But Nintendo's NES system was just too popular, and Sega's Master System was kind of a flop. In order for Sega to increase revenues, they were looking for any competitive edge, and the education market was a glaring and obvious choice. Remember, Remember, they had strong ties in the education sector within Japan. This is something that Nintendo could not compete with. With that, Sega decided to build their Sega AI computer, a kind of precursor to ChatGPT, you might say. At the time, the Sega AI computer cost around $600 and had tons of quirky elements to it. The first and most glaring one was its large touchpad. It could be customized with swappable overlays depending on the game or application being used. It was very similar to the current day Leapfrog touchpads, the ones you see on the toy shelves at Target. Sega's touchpad made it very easy for children to interact with. Kids could simply draw on it without the overlay to make drawings or pieces of art, or the kids could use a overlay to touch easily recognizable things like farm animals or numbers depending on what game they were playing. Playing. Complementary to the touchpad was a more traditional eight-way directional device that could be used to control the console. That's not all though. This quirky system had even more ways of controlling it. Sega also gave users the option of using a traditional keyboard. In essence, this state-of-the-art system had three ways to control gameplay, which is crazy when you think about it considering modern-day consoles are usually controlled with just one device. Games were loaded onto the system in two ways, or a combination of both. One was via Sega My Cards. These cards could hold 128 to 256 kilobytes of data per card, which was a decent size back in the day. Now compare that to a one terabyte drive that can be found on most modern day computers. Let this sink in. 8.5 million Sega My Cards worth of data could fit on one single one terabyte drive. That's insane. Along with my cards, users could load games via cassette tapes. Yes, those same audio tapes that preceded the compact disc or CD. Now, let's take a second to pause here before we go any further. And let's give credit where credit is due. The only reason why we know all these details about the Sega AI computer is due to a Sega super fan named Omar Korna. Omar purchased one of these units at an online auction and released all the details of the system. Not only that, but he and others have posted hundreds of pictures of the console and released them online. The link to these can be found in the description below. So what aspect of this Frankenstein system is actually artificial intelligence? Well, that's 
Easy. The answer is Prolog. Prolog is a high-level computer programming language and is the brains inside the Sega AI computer. All other systems at the time, like the Nintendo NES system, were using assembly to program their system. The assembly programming language is much more straightforward and a low-level coding style. If the computer programmer needed Sonic the Hedgehog to jump over a gap within the game, the programmer would directly code that into the game itself. They would tell the computer the exact X and Y coordinates of Sonic, the exact angle they wanted Sonic to jump at, and the precise speed of Sonic right before his jump. Assembly would then take all of that information and computer code and make Sonic jump exactly where he's supposed to within the game. On the other hand, Prolog is a high-level programming language and is declarative, meaning it doesn't need all these X and Y coordinates and exact speeds and angles of Sonic's jump. It just needs a description of what you want done, and Prolog will then figure it out behind the scenes. So if the programmer needs Sonic to jump over a gap, the programmer would simply tell Prolog to do just that. That is, have Sonic jump over a gap. And behind the scenes, Prolog would figure out all the complex X and Y coordinates, angles, and speed of Sonic on its very own. Sounds kind of like artificial intelligence, don't you think? Sega used this Prolog AI for various applications on its console. One of the most notable ones was a diary program. The application prompted children with various questions on how his or her day went. The child would then reply back in one to two word answers. And after the child answered all the prompts, the Sega AI computer would output a grammatically correct diary entry of the child's day. It basically created a well-written entry based off the one to two word answers from the child. Sounds a lot like ChatGPT, except this is 25 years earlier. Now, in no way was the Sega AI computer comparable to ChatGPT, but you can see in this example how the basic concepts are the same. The coolest thing about all of this is you can actually test out Sega's AI computer on your computer right now. There's emulators available in the link in the description to do just that. It's just a one-click install and you can test the system out for yourself. Just be aware, these games are in Japanese. Even though the Sega AI computer was supposed to launch in the United States and in English, it never did because the system was an overall flop in Japan. But that doesn't take away how cool and cutting edge the system was for its time. Who would have thought Sega made a primitive ChatGPT 25 years before OpenAI did? That's it for tonight. If you want to learn more cool things about AI, like Apple's AI car, check out this video right here. And if you found this video interesting, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and my free AI email newsletter at fry-ai.com forward slash subscribe. Have a great night. This is Ryan signing out. Take care.